Welcome back to another episode of Ashley of P Travels. What? <laughs> we are currently in the Johannes Gutenberg Printing Press Museum in Mainz, Germany, and we're looking at some printing presses. Welcome old friends. Hello, new friends. Peter's going on as an adventure. Peter is going on an adventure by himself. <laughs> this one right here looks like the one that they have on Spaceship Earth. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that. These are these are probably more newer ones, not super new. Let's see, 1967. This one was 1962. This one here. 1985 built in 1985 okay and 1953 and then there's one in the corner by itself here don't know what that one is oh oh okay this one is 1911 i know nothing about this but it says do not touch so I'm not going to, but wow. 1911. That is crazy. Some illustrations. We didn't get the audio tour, so I, I have little to no idea what we're looking at, but it all seems great. <laughs> okay. We have found some of the early books. These are from the 1400s. They're from the 1400s. There's no English. Oh, you do? You see English on it? No, I'm just thinking, I know how to translate that quick. <laughs> there are so many books in here. And they're all very, very old. Let's see. They're all about from the 1400s, if you look here. 1482. Look at that. That is beautiful. Then, continuing on a little bit, we got some Baroque. This is after the Renaissance. These are from the 1700s. So here is an example of what would go into the printing press and what would come out. And this is from 1695. So both this plaque and this book is from 1695. So this is very interesting. They would put bucket down here and that press would press it down. This would also be used for wine making. So you would take the bucket out, replace some stuff, and then you can make some, uh, you make some books. So it's multi-purpose, alcohol, and books and we were told that's the way that you did book making for 500 years wine and books on the same machine this is so cool look at that this must be a later one uh, because there is a significant size difference it got a lot smaller on this one here so books at the time of the original printing press were so expensive. They were about 6,000 euro. Any library that you go to, books were usually chained to the shelves because people would try to steal them because they were so precious. But then came the 1800s and we got more compact, if you will, machines. So this one is from the early 1800s. Um, and then it keeps going down and getting a little bit later as you go down. So they get a little bit of smaller and smaller, but they still maintain a very beautiful kind of structure. So here is kind of different levels of putting a picture together. Yeah, this is the famous little mm -hmm. You can imagine how it works. Yeah, you combine them all together. Yeah, these you can combine to one. This is for different colors. That's pretty neat. These here are for newspapers. Yeah, and this is a double that big. 
Mm -hmm. The London Times was the first newspaper printed on this kind of machine. Mm -hmm. It works with a double cylinder. So you have underneath here the printing plate that is moving on a sledge. Mm -hmm. You put the paper on it. The printing plate is inked by those rolls here. The paper rolls over the inked plate and comes out as a print here. On the way back, it's re-inked, and from here the second print was made. Oh. So that made printing very, very fast. Yeah. Okay. So in that time, 1800 from 1814, this machine is the London Time could, in four hours, produce about 10,000 newspapers. Yeah. There was an incredible amount in that time. Yeah. There is a whole bunch of celebrations about Johannes Gutenberg. That's him. He's in the sun. You can't see him. The light. There he is. The city has a lot of love for him. He's the most famous resident of the area. So in that room are the Gutenberg Bibles. Now we cannot go in there and take any kind of video or picture, but they are in there. They have one and a half copies. There's not many copies left, but you can see them in that room. There it is right there. All right, we're up to the third floor. A lot of this is about um, almost modern printing with newspapers. So there's a few more, a little bit more modern machines. Not super modern, but there they are. Now this is a scaled down version, but obviously this is a lot newer. <laughs> not, not today's standards, but a lot newer. And finally, here's the fourth floor. What is this? It looks like a bathtub. It's not though. This is how they make paper. paper. How they make paper. There we go. Look at that. <gasps> Look. So it looks like some of these machines are for book binding. Book binding. Random sewing machine oh probably for the book oh i see for that piece singer singer that's right I'm what <laughs> and then here's a little more this is this is probably late 1800s maybe early 1800s this is a fun museum especially if you're a fan of books this is a place to come because you're literally going to start in the 1400s when books were, you know, just starting to be uh, printing press, some even handwritten, and it comes all the way up to not quite modern, but 1800s. That is the oldest book in here. It's from 1474. Thanks for watching our video. We're just leaving. Eight, 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 eight,